Good morning. Good morning. I am in my kitchen just trying to finish up on this makeup. Very simple beat. We are going, I'm meeting with some friends and we're going to the village market to get a little bowling on. And there's some really crazy offers going down this week um, for what do you call it? Women's Women's Week, Women's Day. Today is Women's Day, actually, the 8th of March. So we decided to take advantage of that uh, offer. Also, we haven't seen each other for quite a bit. We really, really like each other's company. So, yeah, I'm in the kitchen. I'm doing my makeup from the kitchen because the lighting is much better here. And yeah, also, this is what I'm wearing. It's a, it's a well, I haven't worn the pants yet. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll show you the full OOTD now once we get there. But yeah, uh, don't tell anyone. Shh, it's a costume. <laughs> anyway, let me finish up real quick and then um, I'll see you. Hi, my name is Teresa Winfred, but you can call me Terry if you see me for the very first time. So I make lifestyle related content where I basically share with you my life and I try to do so in the most authentic self <laughs> with the hopes that that will raise our level of consciousness one way or another and in turn that will make for well wholesome human beings. Okay? All right. <laughs> We go home. I Just here. And the you not doing. Oh, 
Because it has the potential of doing oh, this. So that's the whole like reason. Okay, yeah, can you read that? It's just shaking. It, just, it has not. It has, oh, it's actual. It's an actual song, though. Um, it's an actual Kikuyu song that's old. Yeah. I think it just hit on TikTok. It just hit on TikTok. How many? Yeah. And it was sung like seven or almost thirty years ago. Yeah. And even yeah, and even the person who sang has lost his voice. What do you mean lost his voice? Because it was sung so long ago. Yeah. Like he can't sing. Yeah. Yeah. Unless. <laughs> I don't mind as long as it's the same color scheme. This is really out there. Oh, yeah? Like, do you mean out? Do you mean out there, like pretty good or? Oh, attentional. Okay. I thought you mean out top, but as a whole joke. Okay. I think if I found something like this, I can put my teeth. Okay. Something like this sweater. You don't know something like that. I feel like you do. I feel like you do. You don't have a sweater like this. I do you think you like this? I don't. I think you do. do. You know all your clothes? I don't. I think the one is a terrible question. I do know all my clothes. <laughs> I am back home <clears throat> and I am so touched. It's so hot outside. I think this is the first time since I bought this <laughs> reusable ice cubes that I'm going to use them. I've never needed them. I don't usually even drink uh, room temperature water. I usually drink warm water. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Let me get this water in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to drink water. I've never looked forward to water this much my whole life. Mm. Yeah, it's stuck up here. <laughs> Okay, so the day didn't go as I had thought. <laughs> initially, I thought we'd just go to bowl. Um, and then after that, maybe hang out, grab a meal, and then call it a day. But uh, we got there and then quickly realized, okay, I quickly realized, wait, I didn't carry socks. I don't have socks. And um, to get the socks over there is 250 now i have so many socks pairs of socks at home and i i was just like i'm not willing to spend 250 for a pair of sock you know it's not even the winter socks the winter socks are like 150 maybe so i'm just like i don't know if i want to so and then alice was also like mm, actually um no i don't i don't i don't i'm not willing to spend the 250 alice is the friend that i was with and so we're like um you know must we even ball like is it is it mandatory that we ball and like actually for me it was the company for me is the company 
So like, you know what, let's do something else. And she wanted to swing by Wangige Market to get a few things for a hiking trip. She's going to four. So yeah, we're like, mm, let's do that. Actually, let's do that. So um, yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> and now I am back home. It is currently, I believe, four. No, 3.48, almost four. So yeah, I'm just gonna rest for a bit and then I'll show you some of the purchases that I made, which I had no business purchasing, but quite worthy, okay? All right, let's get, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm, I'm just gonna go rest for a while first before I show you, okay? Bye. Hi. I'm changed I'm more comfortable I'm on the floor I'm in my jaggery jaggery which is also scaring guru for those of you who do not know yeah I'm just snacking on this I know some of you are cringing like oh my gosh you're eating sh sugar oh, I like sugar okay so yeah let me show you what I got um, it's not a lot it's so let me just lower your expectations it's not much <laughs> A very little things okay but yeah so I'm gonna bring them closer put them on the floor first things first or rather first things first is the jaggery that I'm already enjoying ten shillings just like a small piece yeah and I got a lemongrass of which I am hoping um, I want to plant these and I'm hoping that it'll sprout and grow and I'll have like my own lemongrass situation going on because I really love it in tea yeah I really do in milk tea especially oh love it so um now that I have started on that route let me get into the seeds the seeds that I got I got re very little for like they usually start measuring from like 20 shillings but we had a measure for us for 10 shillings because we're planting in pots we don't really need that much and if anything we could always go back to get so yeah i got rockets which i'm really excited to get i mean which i'm really excited to start planting especially for my salads and um sandwiches the next thing i got was squash squash seeds which um i wanted this one uh, particularly because well, it says squash, but really, what are they? Um, zucchini. Um, is it was it zucchini? Oh man, I think so. Koja zucchini, yeah, zucchini, which I know I could I can use the leaves. I can cook the leaves to get like sauces and stews and whatever. At least the guy said I could. So if I die, I die. I guess. <laughs> so yeah. Um, also, the harvest will be great to. I look forward to that because I've been loving um, zucchini of recent yeah and then the other thing is carrots I'm really looking forward to that because I thought I want vegetables that I can actually grow and eat the spinach I'm trying to dye them out because the harvest that I've gotten even the most bountiful of them all was never enough for a meal you know what I'm saying so it was good for like a juice like a sandwich but never for um a full-on meal so for the sandwich and salads i'm excited to get the rockets and he says this one takes up to 60 days to mature and harvest so i look forward to that that's about three months which is not such a long time considering i've had my okra they've been struggling for over four months yeah for over four months and it's still there's no sign of it becoming it there's still like tiny tiny bits well the it had it had it had brought out flower and fruit but it never really matured it died out somewhere in between so yeah uh those are all the seeds that i've gotten i don't have enough pots for all this so i don't know when i'm gonna actually plant but having them is half the journey made <laughs> I'm excited. Ah, yeah. The next thing I got uh, is cumin seeds. And for a sachet like this one, it goes for 20 shillings. And I prefer to buy the my spices from him. There's a specific guy at Wangige Market that I get my spices from. I feel like 
it goes it undergoes less processes in comparison to the ones in the supermarket. You get what I mean? I find like they're a bit more fresher. Because I mean, look at the packaging. Surely he, he couldn't have used any chemicals, if at all any, to, to pack and prepare and all that. So yeah, I feel like I'm just getting a more raw, more healthier version of my spices when I get them from the side, all right? Okay, cool. Now let's move to the clothes. <laughs> the only three pieces, so don't get excited, okay? Jaggery break. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think I've had enough. Mm. That's enough for one day. Okay, so. Mm. Alright, so. <laughs> I got this top. Just a cute little camisole which is in uh, the color orange, is it orange red? Yes, which I love so much. It goes so well with my skin. You may not see that here, but I promise you when I wear it out, you will see it looks so cool. I love it. I love the color orange red against my skin. It looks good against all melanin, if, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it does. So yeah, I got this camisole. It is a Vera Muda <laughs> camisole. Uh, in the size small. I think that's one of the greatest joys of thrifting. You get so many nice brands out there and yeah, very unique pieces. Um, maybe not very unique, but um, I'm talking about wingy. You, it's, also, by the way, it depends on where you shop. Because I've, I've noticed, Ngara, I can tell he ni Ngara, you ni nunu Ngara. So, I, mm, catch me dead shopping there, but yeah. Sorry, no shade, by the way, no shade. You could, because I feel like people don't have like individual style. It's just fashion. So you all just end up looking the same. And it's just like, Kwanzaa with hair. Oh my goodness, Nairobi. <laughs> people, hey, be creative now. Come on. Anyway, the second one is this camisole. Oh, this one was 20 shillings. Mm -hmm. I love a good steal. And here's the other one. Oh, it's so pretty. Are you seeing that detail? And that is the front. That's not the back. I'm not mistaken. I promise. Look at that. Okay, well, you can't see because it's black against black. But this is so cute. I'm so excited. 20 shillings as well. And then I got a bodysuit. I think this is actually a swimming costume. If I'm... Ooh, spandex. Oh, no wonder, because it was really, it was quite tough to stretch it out. We, we were trying to stretch it out, like, oh, it don't move, it don't move. It is spandex. I doubt I'll be needing this because, you know, <laughs> your girl's stomach is on flat, flat, nasty thingy. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got this spandex, uh, but I kind of regret it already because... Um, Unless I choose to wear it as a spandex, I doubt I'll ever wear it out now that I think about it because the cleavage, it's showing the clavicle. Okay, well, the clavicle is up here. So it's showing cleavage and like a deep decolletage. And I'm not trying to show all that, okay? Yeah. I've tried it. I've tried it over like the shorts that I'm wearing right now. And I'm just like, Ah, uh, and this was not a smart punchies. Unless maybe like I lose weight, kabisa kabisa, and then I have no breast seas. Because I was intending to wear them. I mean, to wear it as a bodysuit, but that may not happen. So that's that. It was 10 shillings. Guys, 10 shillings. Go to Wangige. And I also think, I, I, I'm starting to think that maybe perhaps today was market day. Because there's a lot of activity going on. Uh, compared to some of the other days that I've gone there, yeah, I think today was actually market day. So yeah, make your way there, or find nice things. One last item. This was the first purchase, and I was so excited to have it. So yeah, um, it's a workout jacket, which honestly, 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 I don't need. I don't need any of these things, but yeah. Yeah, anyway, it is this <clears throat> Soma label friend. 
is this Nike running jacket that I absolutely love. Look at that print. It is oh, so gorgeous. And then the bottom, you can cinch the bottom. And I like it because, you know, it's a nice loose fit, which I like. I don't like when the top part is really constricted. So I can wear like my sports bra inside and then just throw this on top and I'll be comfortable to um, either walk out, out, um, uh, especially out, because out is where you can, you'll meet people. Uh, but indoors, you know, I can walk out even in just my sports bra and I'm good. So yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And then it's got this little pocket at the front where you can I can just put my phone and um, perhaps a shopping bag because that's what I would carry when I'm running or walking outside. So that um, should I choose to buy something on the way, uh, I have a shopping bag, isn't it? The keys to the house. So yeah, I'm really excited. And I love the print. It's black and white. You can't go wrong with black and white, okay? All right, see you later. <laughs> and better angle, my goodness. Actually, I'm sorry. There's just no better place to place you. <laughs> Bye, see you later. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. The, the, what do you call it? The runner's jacket. Okay, I'm just going to call it that. It's probably not it. Maybe it has a name. But anyway, that cut jacket was 50 shillings, friend. Hi, so it is much later on and I've decided to, I had promised um, some of you in the comment section that I'll share with you some of the tips and tricks that I have come up with to make sure that I eat more veg fruit and vegetables during the week. So yeah, <clears throat> as for fruits, I buy bananas weekly. So I make sure to buy bananas for the week just so even if I should I should I miss out on consuming other vegetable I mean other fruits then at least I have a banana for every day if not every other day you know what I'm saying then occasionally here and there when I'm out coming back into the house I'll get I'll grab an apple I'm a pineapple I'm notorious for pineapples I really like pineapples the thought of it is making me water yeah so um pineapples um mangoes <laughs> me and mangoes yes mangoes um nothing exotic really but should i get a nice offer for this more exotic fruit then i make sure to buy them not that there's anything more superior that you get from the exotic fruits in terms of nutrients that you want to get from the everyday fruits okay like vitamin c which we all need especially now pineapple oranges you're good mangoes for the fibers you know and the sweetness hi <laughs> and then um what else banana for the potassium and all that goodness so yeah that is for fruits for vegetables i um i try i do i try to make sure i have at least two vegetable options per week okay so i buy vegetables also weekly so if this week not dependent on anything maybe just an inclination or a taste for something like i know the other week not last week the other week i wanted more um the exotic vegetables the free range vegetables like in a kunde terere you know them ones <laughs> them ones wow who do i think i am them ones wow <laughs> Anyway, you're Brit, Brit people. I've, I've been consuming a lot of British content, that's why. Anyway, so yeah. Um, yeah, so two kinds of vegetables. For me this week, I am having cabbage. I already had, uh, like, I want to say half, but that is not really half. But anyway, I had half of it um, during the week. And I mean, that last week. And then for the other vegetable option is courgettes. Yeah. And I've recently started liking them. Growing up, we never had uh, zucchinis at home or eggplants. We never really had them at home. And mom, mom used to throw them, you know. But it wasn't really in our scope of foods to eat. So I'm enjoying experimenting with them, trying out new flavors and all that good jazz. So without rambling further on, I hope I'm in frame. <laughs> I actually hope I'm in frame because, hmm? anyway, uh, I'm just going to have to repeat that if I'm not in frame, but yeah, 
such is the life are you subscribed are you for are you subscribed first of all okay because it will be cousin man are you subscribed one two is your notification bell on if not what are you doing are you skipping ads what is your problem <laughs> also um there is a number in the description box where if you feel if you have an inclination to support my content then there you have it for those who are local and are familiar with the mpesa you can send it via that number and for those who are abroad then you can use sendwave to send me money so i can continue making content such as this that you're enjoying if i just made you smile really send me money thanks <laughs> so usually i don't care for the size of the cabbage unless i'm intending to eat it with ugali so i just would usually just do a rough chop on it and yeah that's it if it bothers you then you chop it small small okay this is such right. an american thing to do you know adding sugar to your cabbage but it tastes good i like it so that's what we're gonna do and so in here you have onions black pepper curry powder salt to taste and a bit of sugar and in this one i'm thinking to do more of the chinese spices which is basically um soy sauce uh fish sauce you know a bit of salt and pepper a bit of curry powder maybe and that's it so yeah And we are done. I promise you the cabbage tastes much better than it looks. I promise, I promise. And yeah, here's the ooh, can you see? The zucchini and carrot and onion. This is the first time I'm making it with carrots. Uh the first time I made zucchini okay. The other few times I made zucchini, I just uh, made it with onions, a bit of ghee and spices. But yeah, taste alright. Um the soy sauce definitely gives it a more Asian kind of taste to it as well. I added a uh, fish sauce as well. Yeah, just to, you know, top up the Asian cuisine taste. So yeah, just cover that up and I'm ready for the week. Only that I'm not hungry because <laughs> I've snacked, snacked. I've snacked quite a bit from the time I got home. I've had groundnuts. I've had two smokies. Um, and also I've nibbled on the vegetables as well as when they were raw, that's the carrots mostly, and the cabbage when they were still cooking. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty full <clears throat> and I've drank a lot of water. So I'm not hungry. Yeah, but otherwise I was thinking to make <clears throat> noodles for dinner uh, and like you see now the vegetables would add so much to the noodles so it's not just some plain boring looking flat noodles also have you noticed my voice has changed a little bit <laughs> i'm breaking my voice is breaking <laughs> i'm maturing anyway i um <laughs> i uh what oh yeah so the noodles would have been i would have had maybe like noodles i would have made them kenyaji style but if you would like to see <clears throat> my noodle how i make I, i'm sure there's a video i have up here somewhere so you know where i've made noodles see you know? oh geez see there it is you know let me find it i'll try find it once i do i will link it in the info cards up here we'll see you'll see um yeah so just but today i was thinking i just make a plain one and then have the vegetables there a bit of cabbage a bit of the courgettes or zucchini on the side and maybe a fried egg and that would have been a perfectly balanced diet you know so yeah so bits bits and bobs like that help us or help me to eat healthy and yeah to just add in a bit of veg vegetables every with every meal because you know sometimes you can make like let's say for instance rice and beans because i like rice and beans i can make like the rice and beans and then the thought of making a third meal now the vegetable is just no no i'm not doing that i'm not so yeah it helps it helps with the cooking so yeah anyway 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 i'm about to enjoy a cup of cocoa as i wind down um wipe this face watch a movie and then just slip into the night yeah
I intend to really sleep in tomorrow. What's in what's in tomorrow? I don't have an early morning. Unless the painter is coming really early in the morning, of which I doubt. Eh, the other time I won't do Niamsha. So he might come early. Anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a night and uh I'll see you. Please subscribe, thanks. Guess what I'm having? It's the noodles, the cabbage and the other vegetable. Yeah, in a bowl, no plating because ain't nobody got the time. And then the house is in a bit of a disarray because they're painting. Let me show you. So, okay, so that's been fixed. Um, he's gonna come and do the pink details after that. I was really shipping for the moon when <laughs> when I had asked them to do all white and I was sold. I was sold air. <laughs> Because initially, the guy who came to inspect was like, yeah, sure, we can do all whites. And the guy that was sent by the landlord um, was like, oh, no, that's going to take a lot of work. So, yeah, that's, um, that's it. So, let me just continue having my meal and chill. All done. Looks fresh and new. The one in the bedroom makes the house look even I don't know, brighter, bigger, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, it's all done. <laughs> I don't know who's going to clean up, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> ah, stress, but yeah, that's, I'm glad. I am glad I hadn't yet um, done the cleaning, so yeah. I guess that's what I'm about to do. It's afternoon. I'm feeling very sluggish, so I doubt that'll be today. But um, yeah, okay. I'll have to do the bedroom. At least, okay. No, maybe just the sweeping, and then like thorough cleaning. I'll do tomorrow because I'm feeling. I'm not feeling it. I'm not up for it. Okay, um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Allow me to love and leave you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, yeah. And uh, if you are looking to support my channel, my number is, or rather the number for the channel is over there in the description box. You can send in whatever whatever amount you, you want to. Yeah. Which will go a long way in um, allowing me to produce more content for you. Okay. Have a wonderful rest of day, evening, night, week. Uh, I love you, but most importantly, God loves you. Mm -hmm.